Well, Joey, for every offense that scores 41 points, you've got one defense that allowed it and allow uh, Auburn allowing 41 points ties for the most points it has ever allowed at home against a non-conference opponent. And that's since the SEC was founded in 1933. College football senior writer Pete Thamel joins us now. And Pete, uh, Brian Harson clearly on the hot seat, but just how hot is it? Well, Wendy, ever since February, when the university began an investigation that was completely unfounded into Harson, there has been an inevitability to his tenure ending at some point this fall. Uh, it's a $15 million question hanging over Auburn because he'd be owed 7.5 within the first month and 15 total in buyout. Uh, there's not a lot of optimism anywhere that Brian Harson is going to survive. The first step Auburn's likely to take is to name an AD. They named an interim and Rich McGlynn, the compliance officer, who was promoted to interim earlier this week. So the next step for Auburn comes as a when does Harson go, not an if. Well, it's not the only place where there's speculation. Talk to me about other coaches who are under additional pressure right now. Well, uh, we can start at Georgia Tech, where uh, the Yellow Jackets were blown out 42 to nothing at home by Ole Miss. Uh, there's, there's also inevitability hanging over Georgia Tech. Uh, the unwinding of Tech is likely to start with the athletic director, Todd Stansberry, sometime in the upcoming weeks. Uh, Georgia Tech has a bye week in about three weeks, and, and it, that seems like an inflection point for the program when looking at Jeff Collins' future. Uh, the difference in his buyout is about $3 million between 7 and 10 uh, between now and between January 1st, but there's no chance that they're going to wait until then. So there's, there's an air of ne inevitability, Wendy, hanging over Atlanta. All right, Arizona State has already made the call. They've parted ways with Coach Herm Edwards. What or who is next for the Sun Devils? Well, Wendy, Arizona State has always been the, the sleeping giant, and boy, have they been napping uh, under Herm Edwards. I, I really think that uh, where they go next depends on who makes the hire, and Ray Anderson, the athletic director, made it clear in his comments to the, to the press in Tempe this week that he's unsure of how big of a role he's going to have. So it's obviously always hard to project who the coach is going to be when you don't know who's going to hire them. That said, old friend Brian Harson. Uh, it was going to be one name that comes up if he is let go at Auburn. And then there's names like Tom Herman if they want to go early, which is the, the, the new trend now with the early signing day. Others like Bill O'Brien and, uh, you know, a, a few other of your staunch West Coast guys are, are going to have a chance like Troy Calhoun. Yeah, Pete, uh, some familiar names on that list. That's the coaching carousel. It goes round and round. We appreciate it. We'll see you again later this week. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.